Hello, my glorious little friends. I am back and I have brought you snacks. Hey guys, it's Wolf and we're back in hardcore Minecraft, which means if I'm dead, I lose everything. And we are on day 25 of our 100 day challenge as set forth by Luke the Notable. And for this hun uh, for this next 5 days, uh I think we need a mine. We need some more materials. Things are getting real slim over here, so we're going to go to sleep. Oh, look at the dog. Reminds me of my dog, except my dog likes to steal pork chops off the stove, doesn't he? So we're going to start working on... We have our farm. We have food. We have a lot of our basic materials taken care of. This is going to become the uh, kitchen area. And we're going to start working on a mine. Please don't be any creepers. Please don't be any creepers. Creepers? Creepers. There's a skeleton over there. Oh, there's a creepy boy. Time to see if my defense mechanism here works. Come on, creeper. Come on, hurt yourself. Oh, he, he gave up. He knows. He knows better than to fight with me, for I shall win. We also need some more spruce for the inside of the house, and we're going to be doing some building for that. There's a creeper over there, and I don't really like that. Let's go kill him. And there's plenty of spiders right now. Plenty of spiders means we can eventually, if I didn't make it last game, make a bow and arrow. Oh, all I heard was the noise of a creeper going off, and that was kind of worrying. Yeah, we become in Minecraft veterans now. We kill everything. Nothing is good enough. Oh, that's a fully armored skeleton up there. Um, I'm gonna avoid him. He might kill me. As always, the continued trend in every Minecraft video, no matter how good you are at Minecraft, collect basic resources. We are only 26 days, which makes us one-fourth of the way done with our 100-day challenge. And maybe, just maybe, we can make it to even further days. Maybe 200 days. I'd like to do a 200-day challenge. It does add a lot of... I'm not going to say stress to playing Minecraft, but it certainly makes the game different. Yeah, you definitely take some more caution, you definitely prepare... It only takes one time not being prepared for a situation, and poof, everything I've worked for is gone. So we're always going to make sure we're well prepared for everything we do in this game. Also, I want to see something here. Can I just... Ow! Okay, so you can just harvest berries and replant new ones. Interesting. Interesting indeed. How intriguing. Might as well get some dirt while I'm up here. I swear we're going to start on the mine. That's going to be today's episode is a lot of mining. It's going to be kind of boring. I'm sorry. But I would also really just like to kind of build this area out too. Oh, nope. Yes, like these. There we go. Maybe take... Do I have any more shovels? No. Oop. Oh, whatever. Good enough for me. And eventually we'll just have a little walkway through here. Something like that. It'll be nice. It's going to be nice and pretty. Let's make a new shovel. And then we're going to start on our adventure into the mines. Oh boy. The mines are a terrifying place if you are not prepared fully. Have enough wheat for some more bread. I will be taking my... Let's use my wood really quick. Uh, mine all these materials down. Yay! And that should be enough for the five right here. 
and then one right there. Oh, wait, I have 11, which means I actually have enough for all of that side. Hey, we're kind of getting places in this house. And then I've got enough for right here. There we go. All right. So we're going to restock on weapons, supplies, all of that nonsense. Can we burn a shield? No. Uh, that shield's getting a little broken, so we're probably just going to leave it. Do I have a new shield? I thought I had made a new shield at one point. Oh, there it is. It's already in my inventory. Okay. So we'll take the new shield. Um, leave it in our inventory. We're going to leave a bunch of these materials here that we don't need. Take our iron pickaxe. Make a new iron pickaxe. And we're going to go and build a nice mine shaft. And this is where a lot of people die. Mines are no joke. Um, I'm going to keep some cobblestone. I'm going to keep some sticks. I'm going to keep a crafting table. These are all things that will be important. Should an emergency happen. I don't really think I need these. Pretty sure I have slabs in here. And if I need to take some more bread, I really need to fix my inventory management monta. Yeah. Nine. Nice. I need to do an inventory management, but I don't have an inventory room yet. So eventually we'll do an inventory management montage, and it'll be really satisfying. Really, really satisfying. So we're just going to leave that. I have my shield, crafting table, two pickaxes, maybe make a shovel while I'm here. Shovel. Just so I can have one. And I could have swore I made a bow and arrow last episode, but I guess I didn't. So we're going to make one this episode, because we needed... Three string, I think, and three stick. That's way too many sticks. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now we have our bow and arrow. Um, unfortunately, we do not have a bow and arrow that does not... We don't have a lot of arrows. We need chickens. And we need flint. We need a lot of things. Alright, let's continue. We have armor, iron pickaxe, we have some weapons... Crops are growing nicely, but we need to make our mine shaft. And I really want my mine to be over here in this area. Oh my goodness. Why? Just why? Why are they? Oh boy. I can already tell that this is going to be a fight. Just going to go ahead and swap out my shields now. And I really don't know how I'm going to build my mine. I need it to step down, so maybe starting like right here. I think something like this, and it just goes down into the quarry, kind of. So as it goes down... We'll have a nice dirt path over here to... That's going to be in here. Yes, 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 like that. Okay. Inventory management. Not my strong suit. Not my strong suit at all. Do, 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 Nope. Do, 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 do. Okay. Well, we're getting there, slowly. And as we dig down further, we'll have more materials. But now, we start building our little tunnel into our mining area. And it's going to be nice and pretty, and we're going to have all kinds of fun stuff to do. Like die, because we're definitely going to die in these tunnels. I don't know how I haven't died yet, honestly. This is, I think, the furthest I've ever made it in Minecraft without dying. So... You know, each day is a successful day. Alright, we've made it down into our building area. My pickaxe is already broken. That's fine. There's enough ore here to replace those pickaxes that were just broken. And we have our way up and down. Perfect. Just like I intended. Kind of. Mostly. Shh. 
what they don't know won't hurt them. We just need a little bit more dirt, so we're going to come over here and grab it. Terraforming is not my strong suit either, but we're going to learn together, guys. We're going to learn all of this together, and it's going to be a nice, pretty village by the time the 100 days is done. And maybe, once things start really going by, we can start another version of this, where I, uh... That just looks like hell over there. Uh, where instead of doing it day by day, maybe I just record like 10 days at a time and just do like a montage of what happened on those days. I don't know. That's the way Luke the Notable and a bunch of other YouTubers did it. I'm not sure if I like that style or not. Um, so y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all would prefer a montage style of like, hey, this is what I did on days, you know, five, six, and seven, or if y'all prefer the day-to-day -day monotony of trying to survive in a hardcore Minecraft world, because that is what this is. Monotonous. Every day. It's already getting dark. We're not even done yet. Oh boy. This is gonna be lovely. I can already tell. There. But look, we already have the beginning of our tunnel. Actually, we just do that, and you do that like that. Alright, well, we're going to go to bed, and that's going to be the end of day 26, because I really don't want to fight those skelly boys that are down there just yet. Eventually, yes. Just yet, no. And that's going to be our mine. Hello. I don't know what to name my dog. Y'all leave me comment or leave me suggestions down in the comments. And we've made it to day 27. It's officially day 27. Uh, one day at a time in this Minecraft world. One day at a time. Alright. Where's my torches? We're going to have the torches replace the bow just because I don't have enough arrows yet. Eventually those fields are going to take everything over. It's a very large farm. A bit more uh, industrialized. But I like it. Um, I probably should be completely filling this hole in, but eventually I'm not gonna... Eventually nothing's gonna spawn here. Eventually there's gonna be enough light sources and my little village is gonna take over and it's gonna be so pretty. But for now we must face our demons in the darkest holes of the darkest mines. And we have to come down here for these much needed resources. That is a fully kitted out archer. I don't want to deal with him just yet. We're not going to go that way. We're going to get these resources over here. And then we're going to torch this area of the mine up. And then we're going to make our own mine shaft going down from this area. That way I don't have to go over there and I don't have to deal with them. I'm not being scared. I'm playing smart. I don't have enough to do damage to them. Don't see me. You don't see me. And look, it's already paid for itself with more iron than I used to come over here. Isn't that a good day? I think that's a good day. Ugh. Wait, did he despawn? I think he despawned. Does that mean I can torch up over here? There's rose petals over here. But if I can torch this area up... I can stop things from spawning. And if I can stop things from spawning, it makes it very safe for me. Oh, this definitely isn't safe. I should not be in this area. Okay. Good enough. If it fits, it ships. It's definitely fitting right there. Some more iron down here. That looks like a man-made tunnel, but we're not going to go down that. We're going to grab this iron, and we're going to continue on our misadventure of living 100 days in a hardcore world. Perfect. Oh, look at all that iron. And now we have a nice lit-up area right here. Now we can make some more torches, so we can just... Gonna do that and just grab about like 40 torches or so. 
and we can light up this whole area where the mine is. This water right here is going to end up being a death trap for somebody, though. So let's just do this. There we go. No more water. And we didn't have to deal with the enchanted archer. How? Oh, isn't that nice? Alright, um... We're just going to do this kind of a symmetrical way, so one, two, three, four, five. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, one, two, three, four, five. Symmetrical enough for me. And you just go. And then you just kind of line them up like that. And that should be good enough for this immediate area. I don't really know what the spawn or what the torch rate it. I don't know. How do you English? I'm not good at English. Um, I'm not really sure what the uh, math behind the light is. So if y'all know how many torches you need for specific areas, maybe y'all can let me know that down in the comments below too. Because I am officially a noob. There's so much they've added to Minecraft. I never know what's going on. There's creatures. They all have enchanted armor. Their armor is better than mine. It's a nightmare. This place is an absolute nightmare. I just want to survive. That's all I want. I just want to build my little homestead and survive. Dad, I'm out here with demons and withers and skeleton archers, and it's just all bad. Also, why are skeletons archers? Why don't they have swords? Just an idea. Why are all the skeletons... Why, why are they all archers? All right. Um, other than that coal right there, I think it's time to start building our pathway down. So we're going to have a three-wide tunnel, and it's going to go down. But while we do that, I'm also going to have some furnaces up here set up, because this is going to be our mining area. So while we do this, I'm going to set my crafting table, actually. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Then I can just line it up. Cool. Good enough. Oh, maybe. Yeah, good enough. That should do it for this area, hopefully. I hope that does it for this area. Okay, let's set down our... What is up here? Oh, this is the little hole I just made. We just pop that down. All right, let's set this down. We're gonna make a new furnace to put over here. There we go. Plop down our furnace, and then you just start throwing our coal in there and our iron, and now we have our mines kind of set up. Also, I just heard a zombie already. Do not like that. Don't like that at all. So I'm going to get these mines set up, and I'm going to see y'all all in just a few minutes. Alright guys, we're back, and the mine is mostly set up. It goes down a ways, down to uh, Y coordinate 9. And uh, we got a lot of resources from this. A good amount. So we're uh, actually just going to take all of this with us, and we can smelt it at the house. Uh, we got a lot of iron and a metric ton of uh, cobblestone, so we can actually start building now. Did run into some unwelcomed fellows down in the caves, but uh, nothing that a Scandinavian and his pickaxe and axe couldn't handle. So it was quite an easy fight. Though the creeper did give me a run for my money. He chased me up the staircase for a little bit. Alright. Oh, y'all are all going to get fed soon, I swear. Look at the wheat fields. They're growing in nicely. So now we have enough iron to essentially do anything we need, um, but we don't have diamond. That's what we're missing. So let's uh, get to smelting all this iron. We almost have a full stack of iron right there. I don't even know what to do with that. We have so much cobblestone. Um, actually, I do know what to do with that. The cobblestone... I need to make a storage room next. 
this cobblestone is just going to get tossed in here for now along with all these other materials and we're going to make some more pickaxes. Barely ate any bread, barely, barely really ate anything while I was down there. It's kind of peaceful actually. <laughs> just kind of messing around down there. Um, we're going to make two pickaxes to replace the ones that were used in the mining. And then our axe is getting very, very dull. Much like our shield, it may be time to retire our axe. And much like retiring the axe, we're going to retire for the night. And that is day 28 and 27 done. We are now on day 29 of 100 days in hardcore Minecraft. And we are still smelting away our stuff. So we now have our new axe, we have our shield, so let's go and harvest some fields, shall we? Nothing wrong with some good old-fashioned harvesting. Look at how much food we're going to have. Even if they're not fully done yet, we should have more than enough. Oh, it's so satisfying! Oh, that's a seizure warning, I apologize. That was so satisfying, though. Let's just pick all of this up. And you just take some seeds and you plant them back down. Farming is such a satisfying thing in this game. I don't... It's one of the simple pleasures of Minecraft, actually. Just getting a large farm set up and just... You know, food is a major thing, especially in hardcore. I do believe hardcore is the only version of the game that'll kill you if you don't have enough food. You'll actually starve to death. So getting our food up and running on this level is pretty satisfying. Oh, that's just satisfying to watch. That is so satisfying. And we should have two full wheat fields now. Which means that the rest can just get turned into compost, essentially. Which means we'll also have bone meal. And bone meal is very good for building trees and getting logs and all those other shenanigans. Oh yeah, we have more than enough wheat seeds. More wheat than I should ever need. But not more wheat than my animals are going to need. Hello, my glorious little friends. I am back, and I have brought you snacks. Oh, yes. Snack. Feed. Feed. Make children. Who has not fed yet? Who has not been feed? Yes. Feed. Give me more children. Perfect. I still need carrots so I can get the pigs to uh, breed. But that's pretty good. We're starting to get our little farm going. I'm probably going to attach it, actually. So from, like, here. I'm going to want to walk way around it. So one, two, three. So like, right here. Alright, so I'm going to need... Oh, I have a shovel. So I'm going to grab my shovel. This one's about to break, but it is what it is. Yeah, one, two, three. Then you do another one past that. It's actually going to have to be two past that, so it'll be right here. So it'll be right there, and then you come up here, and then it's going to be one, two, three. So two past that. I'm trying to figure out this whole terraforming thing, and it's not really my style. Creative is much more my style. It's much more peaceful for me. But I'm actually pretty proud. That's the first time I think I've ever gone in a cave and not died on my way in or out. So, you know. Since I didn't die, y'all should subscribe. Day 30, almost, not dead. One shot, y'all should subscribe. Also, a thousand subscribers and my friend Sully gets smacked in the face with a pie. So, I mean, what are you really losing if you don't subscribe? Other than some glorious videos of him getting smacked and of me being a goofball. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, that's been terraformed. Kind of. I do plan on eventually just getting rid of this entire hill. So it'll be one, two, three. 
and then right here is where the wall is going to come out. Okay. So I need to make some more cobblestone walls. Like quite a few more. And I guess this is going to actually be a part of the interior right here. We'll just connect it. So um, I don't have any cobblestone on me, but I have a little bit of dirt that I can use to cover up this hole. Yay! A creeper is going to blow up and I'm going to fall in one of these holes and that's going to be the end of this series. I'm calling it now. That's what's going to happen. Because there's all these holes. <laughs> okay. So let's go back inside and we're going to get some walls. Ow! Stupid, stupid plants. Actually, we're going to get some more wood while we're out here. Because, like I said, no matter what level you are in Minecraft, you're going to be harvesting wood. And it just lets us add more to the house. So now I can maybe get my storage room going soon. Actually, the storage room I want is going to be quite large because... 100 days of Minecraft. I'm probably going to collect a lot of resources. So it's actually going to be a pretty large storage room. It might be separate, actually, from the Hobbit Hole. What do y'all think? Should I do a separate storage room from the Hobbit Hole, or should it be combined? Let me know. And how are you not broken yet, Axe? Okay, there we go. Well, that Axe is broken. We still have our shield that's almost broken, but that's not too big of a deal. So many animals up there. Okay, let us continue the shenanigans. I did forget to put on shaders. I apologize. Okay, what was I doing? Um, first thing first. Let's put the 27 of these that we have in place, which means I can do almost all of it, really. Ugh. No! How could you? The real problem about walking around with an axe is my weapon is trying to not accidentally make stripped logs. Stripped oak logs is... Eh. Eh. Come on. There we go. I guess I have dirt. I could make a scaffolding if I needed to. I only have enough to do two and like a third of these, though. I only have 18. Oh no, they're five long. 15 should do it. Perfect. We're going to have our second area completed, kind of, minus our storage slash kitchen. I don't know what that room's going to be just yet. Um, shift. There we go. Perfect. Oh no, what have you done? You've ruined the entire build of things. There we go. Beautiful! Our hobbit hole is coming along quite nicely. I've also thought that my room is kind of dingy by itself. Um, these raiders did attack me. It's time for me to hang that banner where it belongs. There we go. Perfect. Now let me grab some of this cobblestone. And we're going to make some walls so we can connect the rest of... Yeah, there we go. Let's put... These... We have a lot of coal. Um, yeah, we're going to make some walls really quick. So how do I make walls? I forget. And we're just going to make a whole butt-ton of them. There's 84 walls. That should be more than enough. And we have 64 dirt, so any of my terraforming projects can go through, too. Okay, so where did I say it was going to be? It's like right here. And then right here. And then the front is still going to be the front, so it's going to be like that, and then it's going to be like that. And I did get some sweet berries, so we can continue the original outline of sweet berries here and still have our original perimeter built up oh, i'm only missing two quick give me your berries i need them perfect 
for the most part. Could use some work still. Might build a farm for them, actually. That'd be nice. Should my animals get a farm? Let me know down in the comments below. We do have quite a large area already fenced off now, though, so... Would be pretty interesting to see what's going to happen here. So now we have this, which means I need to put some torches around here so we don't get any mobs spawning. So I'm going to need a torch here and some here like this and right here, of course. And you can never have too many torches around here. And I can put their entrance over here, too. I should probably start making some more lanterns. We don't have enough of them, really. I'm just going to put, like, right there. And then I don't have a shovel, but I have a crafting table. So let's make a shovel. And then we can go inventory management while things are patrolling outside in the darkness. Oh no, the grass hasn't grown here yet. We'll be back in a moment. I don't know what I'm going to do with this grass patch yet. Ooh, I can put flowers on it. All these stupid flowers that I keep collecting for no reason can go right here. It'll be like a little separator path. Like these. And these. There we go. And now we have enough over here. So now I can just do this. Oh no, I didn't measure that side enough, did I? It's one too thin. Oof. And it's starting to get dark. Time to go! Nah, we can survive one night out here, can't we guys? What do y'all think? If I die, this is all y'all's fault. Just want that to be known right now. If I die, it's everyone's fault besides mine. There we go. Put the dirt back. Alright, fall back into the light while we get the walls back. Now the walls have to go right here. And right here. Then you can just... No, that torch went in the wrong direction. Nothing is working. Nothing is working right now. The game has betrayed me. There we go. Now if the wall was one higher, I wouldn't even have to worry about archers. So that's a thing. Also, I still have a good amount of wheat, so I wonder if I can... Oh, it is time for breeding again. Yay! Look at all the happy animals. Actually, I could... I'm going to have to split this area. This entire area is going to become a farmhouse. Which means I'm going to have to dig all this dirt up and put it back down. Because there's not going to be a pathway here. Yep, there's that hole I was talking about that I'd end up falling in. Eugh, I don't like being down here at all. Yep, there's some skelly boys running around. Don't really like them too much, but there's nothing inside the perimeter, so we're actually pretty safe. So, you know, that's not too bad. I'll take that. That's pretty good. This is a way to spend a night. Just working on your farm. Um would say it reminds me of my childhood, but I didn't work on a farm as a child. I worked on a tugboat. So, probably a little bit different of an experience than working on a farm. Don't have to worry about your fingers getting cut off by towing cables? Maybe? I don't know. Never really worked on a farm. So if you have, let me know what it's like down in the comments. Because, I don't know. Farms seem interesting to me. Just take all these animals and put them in one area. Eh. 
Eh. Eh. Eh. No, you give. You, you give me your berries. Then I put the wall back. Quickly, before something eats my soul. There we go. And now I can turn this entire area into a farm with, like, different stalls. Oh, it's going to be so pretty once we get done. But I think it is time to go to bed. Eh. Onward. To day 29? Day 29, day 30. Are we going to be on day 30 already? What day? Well, we are going to day 30. We are now one-third of the way through. Well, like 2.89% of the way through our playthrough. And things are coming along quite nicely. We have a mine set up. We have a farm being set up right now. I can do the farm in dark oak. Ooh, it's going to look so good. I've got so much dark oak. I think that's what we're going to spend the day doing, ladies and gents. We're going to build us a farm. Senior Enderman, could you not be on my... Ow! Ow! Uncalled for. Now I'm hungry. See what you've done. Is that a creeper up there? Yeah, if you could just get away from me, Senior. Let's go. Let's start working on this farm. So I'm going to get cobblestone and dark oak. So let's just drop all this stuff. Um, actually, let's keep some of this stuff. Let's turn some of this stuff into bread. You know, we got to get that bread. So we're, we're just going to get a lot of bread. There we go. So let's put that bread back. Uh, let's put this in here. All of this. Why do I have dirt in there? It's not where dirt goes. Rotten flesh can definitely go in here. Golden apple can go in there. Some of these can go in there. Actually, we're going to take all these. Let's put the dirt up here. All right, let's get dark oak, cobble. I think that's really all I need, dark oak and cobble. Um, can't really build with much. Okay, and let's start designing our farmhouse. And then I really want to surround the mine with a wall as well, just to kind of protect it. Yeah, I think we'll do that one day, too. All right. So we got to build our farmhouse, which means we need different stalls for different animals. We at least have cows, pigs, and different colored sheep, which means we at least have some different colored. So we're going to put our first post here. Three, four, five. How much did I give me on the back? Oh, no, I don't really want to do that. All right, so how many do I have if I went here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen. 13, 14. So this is 13 right here. So we may do it right there. So we'll put the first post down right there. Put the wall back before something sneaks in here. So we'll do it right here. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, seven. So it should be seven. And then it should be seven to the halfway point. Perfect. It's like I did my maths. Yeah, I'm good at maths. That's how we're going to say that from now on, too. And then you can just kind of copy and paste it on this side. Wee. All right. All right, so I'm going to work on this, and then I'll see y'all at the end of day 30. Cue building montage. <laughs>
guys we're back and we kind of have a rough outline for the farm uh it's definitely not done yet definitely needs some work and the animals are a nightmare when it comes to trying to put them in their pens but it's coming along slowly uh the pig's gonna be real easy to get into a pen i've got most of the cows i mean i have enough to where if i wanted to i could just start breeding them but that wouldn't be any fun, so we've just been kind of doing this and then shutting the door. Now there's really only one of them locked out. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. But it's getting to the point where I can just kind of stay up all night and not worry about anything, you know? It's kind of relaxing, almost. Um, I do have two baby cows and a bunch of sheep over here that I'm going to get out of this area. Come on, get get out of that pen. And then we're going to put that back, and then I'm going to let all of these animals out. Specifically, the baby cow. Actually, if I can get that sheep in there, that sheep... Mm, never mind. Ugh, this is a nightmare. This is probably going to be a lot easier with the lead. And since we're still technically on day 30, we're going to spend the night getting our animals in their home. That way, then we can put a roof on it. And they'll have a nice barn. Where'd that lead go that I had? There we go. Now I can just kind of lead the animals where I want them to go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bad puns. You know you love my channel for the bad puns. Come on, guys. All right. So now we're going to put all of our cows over here. So you come with me. And I think I can just probably pull him. At Sheep, get out. Oh, my God. There's just way too many animals over here. Why? Why did that sheep do that? Also, I'm pretty sure that in order to get rid of that, I just have to pull it until it breaks. If I keep going, it just kind of pops off. And then I can pick it up again. Okay. But now I think I might be able to get the sheep into this pen... I really don't like... Well, I have a gray sheep over there along with a cow. So what if I... Senior cow, you come over here with me. And you come into this pen. Come on. Come into the pen. I don't know why those sheep are following him. Get away, you. Let him in. There we go. Okay. And you give me that. Then I can take you, bring you to this pen. Over here. And you're just going to walk in like a good pig. And you're going to... Give me my lead back. Yes, thank you. And then I can... Hmm. So this is where it's going to get tricky, because now I'm going to have to separate the sheep from the cows, or just kill them. I have a black and a gray already. So there's nothing saying I can't just kill... Because if I were to just maybe indiscriminately... Oh, nope, not you. Uh, let's get the rest of the sheep to follow me over here. So do this. If I could at least get the black sheep over here. There we go. Black sheep are in. Now I can get... You're just going to die, my friend. I'm sorry. Uh, it's for a good cause, though. So now we get the other 
gray and white sheep over here. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, you two. Um, maybe if I just break that, then they'll come over here and I can just... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. You go in. And then I... Oh, there's a gray sheep on the loose now. You come with me. All right, come on. You just come through the door. Come on. Perfect. Give me my lead back. Shut the door behind him. So we've got our black sheep separate from our gray and our white. And then we have an actual gray sheep. So I'm not really sure. Maybe I should add another pen. Right here. And I'll put my one white sheep. Because I'll need another white sheep. Right? I need at least some white. So if I do that, then I take another oak fence and I do this. And then I can just kind of push my pig into this one. Like, he can just kind of come over here with me. Let me grab that. Oh, where's my lead at? And I'll just lead him over here, like this. You come over here. Then I just plop that down, and then I take that, and I do that. And now all I need to do now is, if I care, I will take you. Get you out of there really, really quick. Shut the door. And then put you over here. Yes, 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 yes. Like that. Then I can take my lead back. Then I can take my... Cow, no. You're not allowed out. Take my black sheep. Walk him out, walk him out, walk him out. There we go. Then you take your black sheep back over here with the other ones. All right. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. I forgot I could do that. That's a thing. Can tie animals up. And I think the only one left that doesn't have any place is the white sheep. And the white can go with the light gray. Very similar shade. There we go. And now we have our farm area. Look. Um, we don't have a... I don't really care what happens to that shield. We don't have a very good... Ow. Oh, that zombie... Yeah, if you could just not, my guy. Did you drop anything good? No? I could put some more sweet berries over here is all I'm trying to do. Technically, we're on day 31 now, so... I'm gonna go inside, and as soon as we get to next week... We're going to start on the next part of our farm, which now that I've done this, I can kind of open up the front of it a little bit, and it's going to be real pretty now. Now I can just put these flowers down over here like that, and that like that, and then I'm going to take you back because you're mine. Cool. And this is going to be our farm. Or our farmhouse. Our barn. We have a nice rounded roof, and it's going to look real pretty. We're going to do some designing. We're going to figure it out. But that is days 25 through 30 in our 100-day Hardcore Minecraft Challenge. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining us. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.